Yeah, there we go. Yo. Hey, man, you got a couple of minutes? Yeah, what's up? Oh, do you mind being recorded? Um, I feel like I, feel like I called a bank or something. <laughs> 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 no, why, why, why? Um, uh, I wanted to talk to you because uh, Jennifer Lawrence uh, came out recently as uh, declaring herself one of the first action heroes. And, oh, okay, good. Uh, I, thought, I thought you were going to say I wanted to talk to you about about your vehicle's extended warranty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, no, no, no. I, I, I need to talk yeah, to you about the van yeah. again. <laughs> and then I cried. No, yeah. that, that, that's that, that that's some of bitch that cost you like twenty grand over the past like uh, year. Yeah, no fun. Um, yeah. But yes, Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah, I, I'm aware okay. of the interview. Okay. Uh, let, let let me just uh, read out what uh, she had kind of said. Yeah. Um, oh, Okay, so I, I, I think I was able to find the whole quote. It was uh, Jennifer Lawrence saying, I remember I was doing Hunger Games. Nobody had ever put a woman in the lead of an action movie because it wouldn't work. Um, because we were told uh, girls and boys uh, can both identify with a male lead, but boys can't identify with a female lead. That was her big thing right there. And that was, uh, that, if she would have just been like, uh, oh, well, I, I, I think I was like one of the first female action stars, I would have been like, yeah, <laughs> you're nuts, bitch. But yeah. th then she threw the, well, boys can't identify with a female action lead. What were some of your favorite movies from the eighties and the nineties, Mr. Supa? Because oh, I, 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 I believe, I I believe I you're about to even... shatter her. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think Linda Carter would probably be annoyed, uh, who played Wonder Woman T V in the seventies. What? No way. Mm. Well, she wasn't an action lead. That that that's a superhero lead. The, yeah, totally not a lot of action. action. Yeah. Um so, you know, I mean Gosh, I I feel like I feel like uh, I could probably even go back further. I'd need to think about it. Maybe I'm on the spot, but uh, but yeah, certainly yeah. in the eighties and nineties there was plenty. Eighties, uh, eighties, uh, I mean, and nineties there was almost like nothing but awesome yeah. female yeah. action leads, and they I mean, they were you, actually you had... like enjoyable to watch. Yeah, uh, um, Mila Jovovich was yeah. was definitely one in the '90s. Now we can go back yeah. into the '80s with like Linda, yeah, you could Linda say, Hamilton, and even all the way to the '70s with uh, a Sigourney Weaver. But yeah, but in argu the, arguably, I would say even like the Fifth Element with her. Oh, she's exactly. With uh, she's technically uh, the lead. Yeah, no, Bruce Willis. Th that that was one of the Mila Jovoviches I was going to mention was uh, yeah. in Fifth Element. She played. Um, Nana, 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 what was it? Nano? Oh, yeah. Nano no. or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, it was something like that. Anyway, she had yeah. orange hair and she was awesome. It's a great movie. I love that movie. I love any sci fi movie with flying cars in like dirty, grungy cities. Yeah, it's almost like the. Uh... Uh, the the flying cars and Fifth Element. Uh, you had a, a little bit of that in uh, Back to the Future, and That's then it, yeah. uh, uh, mm -hmm. again in um, oh, what was it with uh, oh what's his nuts? Um, oh, I was never really a big fan of the movie. They they uh, Blade Runner, Blade Runner. Oh yeah yeah. yeah I yeah, I was actually I thinking about that. I was like, I don't know if he needs Blade Runner. Yeah, yeah, no. That, yeah, I think Blade, it, Blade cool. Runner had some like a uh, shady, uh, some shady shit in it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I, I mean, obviously, it just it goes back further. I think you know Ripley and uh, from uh, Aliens, um, and uh, uh, you got. Um, I mean, how many how many lead action roles has has um, 
Angelina Jolie been in. She's like oh, every movie she's well, been in. Yeah, well, she was the big breakout thing. Uh, I don't want to say breakout because I, I I believe she was in some other things before she had like Tomb Raider. But yeah. Tomb Raider was definitely, oh, yeah, really strong female woman yeah. going out and breaking into tombs and uh, yeah, what way, was that one? way before what was Jennifer that Lawrence. One? What was that goofy one she did where they could like curve the bullets? They were like assassins. Oh, that yeah. was, um, mm, that was shoot something, uh, shooter. Um, yeah, uh, go ahead and talk about your childhood while I look that up real quick. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I feel like it was very commonplace. I mean, uh, even what was the ones with, um, oh, she's dainty, kind of very pretty girl, little mousy, um, where she played the vampire and they were like in a war with the lichens, the werewolves. Um, oh, that was, it was Kate series. Beckinsale. Kate, Kate Beckinsale. Beckinsale. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She, oh my God. She was one of my crushes too. I remember I went yeah. and saw, I, I think it was, uh, Underworld three or four anyway it was in 3d and i was super excited to see it but 3d completely ruined it for me yeah Uh, i've never i've tried 3d like twice and i i don't know if like i saw avengers age of ultron the first time uh with that and it was um disorienting it definitely didn't it didn't improve the movie it just made it like harder to follow visually uh, so I don't know if I'm a fan, but there's a lot, the Avengers movies, especially the first ones, there's like, you know, I mean, I, th- what I love about it is they make it look like a comic book, like in New York, when they're like panning up the building and they're like fighting as they go up. And, 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 and I, um, I love that about the Avengers. They did a great when, job. When they do, when, when they, um, tap into the comic book. Now I, I've yeah. learned to go. Okay, it's not going to be exactly like the comic books because uh, as an Adam Warlock fan, I I have learned that I I need to just uh, uh, relax and judge a a work of art on its own merit. On its own merit, yeah, 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 absolutely. It it should at least be informed by it, but but there's only the the two different mediums just can't accommodate everything. But they, they did a pretty good... It was at least a good homage to it, you know, in that scene. But I think seeing that in 3D would have would have not enhanced it. It would have made it too complicated visually to, to understand in that shorter clip. So, I, you know, I think maybe it would be good in something that doesn't have as many moving parts. Um, but I think for a lot of stuff, it's just, it's, it's more of a gimmick than an actual thing worth caring about. Yeah. Now, um, oh, uh, one of the other things I wanted to uh, touch base with you. Oh, do you think we've uh, completely covered uh, Jennifer Lawrence just being ridiculous, saying that she was one of the first action heroes? Mm, right. Yes, uh, so silly. 